Hi, I'm Dr. Fiona Caldwell, and I'm at home today answering questions from Pets Best Facebook page. And the first question comes from Debbie, who writes, I broke my leg and wasn't able to take my dog to the dog park for a long time. I tried him back, and now he's really unsocial. I'm really nervous around other dogs due to the fact that it was my dog and my daughter's dog that were playing and uh, ran into me breaking my leg. Uh, what can I do to have him be social again? Sorry that happened. Um, that's terrible that you had your broken leg. I can understand that you would be nervous around dogs playing and, and big dogs. Uh, I really think that the dog park where there's sort of an off, if it's an off-leash dog park, is probably not going to be the best place for you if you're nervous. Your dog is going to pick up on the fact that you're nervous around these other dogs and you're going to be less able to um, control the situation, that type of thing. So stay away from the dog park until you're feeling a little bit more certain about your dog's behavior and also your comfort level. Definitely think about working with a behaviorist. I think that a behaviorist can help with antisocial behavior in dogs really well. Most antisocial behavior can be fear-based, so it can be a really difficult behavior to discipline because obviously you don't want to discipline a fearful dog. If you're really feeling like you want to tackle this on your own, I would ha I would work with people that you know, friends, um, your friends' dogs, that type of thing. Keep your dog on a leash, keep the other dog on a leash as well, and try to introduce them on neutral territory and kind of work from there. Uh, if you're coming up against problems or there's aggression involved, again, I would really recommend consulting with a behaviorist. The next question comes from Drew who writes, my dog wakes me up on the weekends at the time I would normally get up to go to work. How can I prevent this? Uh, dogs are creatures of habit. They have a routine and they like to stick to it. So your dog's not going to understand that five days a week it's, you know, 7 a.m. and then two days a week you're allowed to sleep in. So unfortunately there's probably not a way that you're going to have her be able to understand that. If she can be crated, you could try crating her on the weekends that you know you want to sleep in. Um, or if she sleeps with you in the bed, you could always, when she starts getting antsy around the time that you would normally get up, let her out of the bedroom, go put her in the crate, uh, and then go back to bed. Uh, I think this is going to be a difficult habit to break for her because she's not going to really understand what the difference is between the days. If you guys have pet health questions for me, feel free to post them at facebook.com slash petsbestinsurance.